mais nova, né? Welcome, Matriz Skate Pop. Yes. I never thought I would be like a professional today, you know, like I never thought I would be like able to go to California and like live by skateboarding. I was just doing it for fun. I was like, okay, that's what I want to do. But I mean, I went to school for like middle class and that's it. Like, you know what? I want to skateboard. That's what I want to do. Like, I just want to skate every day. I want to, you know, dedicate like 100% of my life for that. And we got another champion. Yeah. Just in general, he's a champion. Just I don't know if you fucking realize. <laughs> this is gonna this is a tough one. Eu lembro do no vídeo que o Gordo filmou, o Lua, aqui no EPI. Acho que umas duas ou três horas ele fez uma parte de quatro minutos, manobras de impacto. Nessa escada ele deu mais ou menos umas 20 manobras, tudo de primeira. E esse vídeo foi muito impressionante porque marcou uma, um início do Lua o impressionante pra época. Então isso é uma das coisas que eu lembro assim que me chamou bastante atenção assim para pro pra época. Né? I started skateboarding when I was 10. My dad bought this like plastic board in the mall for me and I never tried it because I was like, "No, that's so stupid. Like I want to play soccer." And then like two days after that, I was like I just saw this guy like skating in my like my neighborhood, like Newton Nevis, he's a professional skateboarder, and I was like, "That thing right there, that wood, I want to do that." Like I I I want to shred, I want to skate. And that's pretty much it. I fell in love in the first time I saw the skateboarding. Skateboarding saved my life, that's for sure. Because where I'm born, you know, like, it's just a ghetto. You have two choices, get out of the ghetto or stay there forever, so. Like 10 years ago, my grandmother that raised me uh, died. She passed away from uh, cancer. And then a week after that, my dad passed away too. Yeah, man. And after that, I was like pretty much by myself, you know, like traveling around the world. I don't want to go to school. I, I, let's see what's going to happen. I just want to skate and travel and, you know, just have fun. One is that guy that uh, he learns trick before we get the, the camera out of the bag. He has a gift from God, man, for sure. I got too excited and I got tired too easy, you know? Skate contest is fun, you know, it's like, it's important too, but after that weekend, they're not gonna remember you, they're not gonna, that's it, that's all. And skate video is gonna be there for like, I don't know, five or 10 years. And I mean, the tricks that you're gonna film for a video part, you can't really do in a skate contest, you know? You can't really just be trying for like a week or two weeks, you know? So I guess that's why it's so important, you know, like, you give like a hard work for it, you know, like you work, you work hard for it. Luan always put 100% of him on trying to get footy. Just like I told you, I'm working 101% on this part. I'm really tired. It's just like being really hard to skate, but you know, I'm already here. I want to do my best, you know, and this video part for sure is going to be my favorite one. I flew from Tampa to New York. It was like three hours. Then I had a four hour layover and then another 16 hour flight to Guangzhou. I went to Guangzhou first for the first seven days. And uh, I mean, it wasn't that bad because I travel a lot back to Brazil. So it's like always 
I don't know, 20 hour fly or something like that, you know? But at the same time, you know, it's, it's bad and good at the same time. Bad because you'll be in the plane like doing nothing for 15 hours. And then the good thing is when you get here, it's like everything's so perfect to skate. And you know, you're happy to be here because you're like on a flight for 15 hours. Yeah, it's crazy because I think skateboard is so new. It's a new thing in China. So the Chinese, whoa, whoa what about this? These guys are doing. Let, let's check it. The whole museum come out to show Luan. Luan show. It's like so different for them. It's like a different world. It's like I don't know, man. Every time that I go to bed, I think about a new trick, and then like every time that I dream about it, I land there the next day. A half cap heel flip, nose lies, so big, bigger heel flip out. Same thing, I dreamed about it, and then went there the next day, landed it, and uh, I don't know, I got lucky on that one, man, for sure. I was there for 23 days. Yeah. In Brazil. In Brazil. Yes, back home, chill for a bit, relaxed, now back to work. <laughs> well, I do skate a lot. I do street skate a lot too, but this time I feel like I had to chill for a bit because I went to China for 24 days. So, yeah, just chill at home this time, skated for a bit. Mm, nothing new, dude. It's just the same tricks, like I told you, it's just nothing new. Luan is the guy that everybody want to see his next video part. Everybody, like 100% of skateboarders. He's not like a good skater that has like 50% uh, of haters and, you know, he has like 99% of uh, likers, I don't know. Uh, I think the 1% is just him. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but... Yeah. Like, sometimes I go to a mall, like, I have a skate shop, my own skate yeah. shop. So I go to a mall, like, to see the employees, you know, like, say hello to them, whatever. And then when I look back, there's, like, a line of people. Like, oh, can I take a picture? Can I, like, you know, like, can you sign this? Or, three bad signature. <laughs> They'll be talking, like, oh, that's Luan. I'm like, that is crazy, I mean... They're tripping. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I'm just, just like I told you, I'm, I'm a simple skater, you know? Like, uh, I just want to skate. I just want to do my best for me, nobody else. Like, I just want to learn tricks, have fun, and travel, like, around the world and, you know, represent my country, of course. But the most important thing is just skate. <laughs> 